Uh, these are various fabrics that we uh, are waiting to use or um, for, for the next jobs. And again, they're mixed, as I said before, there'll be a mixture of acid coatings and reactives. So there'll be a mixture of silks, cottons, heavy linens, velvets. These are basically here ready to do an order. Um, unprinted, ivory state, uh, but at this stage they've been prepared for, for digital, which is a chemical coating that we do, which is one of the most important parts of digital. Uh, the coating is what helps the, uh, the inks fix throughout the process. So without that, obviously it would cause us a problem. So that's the first process with the fabric, it's to get it coated and then we start the print. Although the technology has been around for over 15 years, it's only recently that digital printing on textiles has become versatile and cost-effective enough to make it commercially viable. In the early days, there certainly was a limitation to the type of uh, fabrics we could put through the digital print system, and that was the limitation of the actual fee mechanism itself. Uh, if we started to look at stretch fabrics such as lycras or jerseys, etc., we re really would struggle with a, a, a pinch roll type mechanism because the fabric uh, was very unstable. But now with the onset of the, of the more production orientated printers which have the uh, rotating sticky belt system, the fabric is being held in a very stable condition so it's allowing us to print these more technically challenging fabrics. For designers, working with the new technology has also meant rethinking the limits and the way they design. When it comes down to um, digital, you can, yeah, you can add more colours, there's no limitation on how many colours you use. And it still prints the same speed if you've got two colours or if you've got 20 colours. I suppose that's the beauty, you want to reproduce the design the best way, so with digital you can, you can add more colours. Here the designer's working on a furnishing fabric based on a scanned photo brought in by the customer. With almost unlimited colours available, it would be quite possible to print the scanned image straight onto the fabric. But this would make for a dirty and dull pattern. So the designer's first task is to clean up the image and replace the dull colours with more vibrant ones. 